edition of uh, my experiments in my kitchen today uh, i'm doing uh, we all talk about semya upma and the moment we say semya upma it's something that's very boring so i'm doing a slight twist to it i'm doing something with semolina or semya i'm doing it with a lot of coconut the other ingredients that would be required are mustard curry leaves green chilies jeera chana dal urad dal ground nuts and red chili I see enough heat in this. So I'm going to have a liberal amount of chana dal. Do that. jeera rai curry leaves i talked about four or five green chilies How much of green chilies you want to use is optional. One or two red chilies and ground. Ground nuts change color a little. grated coconut a fair measure of it because uh, it's going to be the main ingredient in the item that's going to be made i'm not giving you quantities very consciously because uh, it depends on the amount of semia you're taking for a bowl of semia i would use about an equal quantity of grated coconut and the rest are a matter of uh, taste and choice you can smell the disappearance of uh, the rawness in the coconut let it cook till then in a low flame if you can grate the coconut just before you make this dish it adds just that extra bit of uh, freshness to the food many houses also have kobbara podi or kobbare podi as it's called in tamil where you make a ready mix of uh, 
cobra, um, coconut and red chilies and keep it. That can also be used in this. All that you'll have to do is uh, not follow this process, but after the tadka, just put in the semolina or the semia, add the powder and the dish is ready. Now I see that uh, the coconut has changed its bright white color to a littleish browner. At this stage, I'm going to add the pre-cooked and water-drained semia to the mix. Another hint that I would uh, offer is do not put in the entire mixture. Hold back a little. Mix and see if you have a proper combination of the coconut and the semolina. This mixture now add salt to taste. Mix very gently because uh, you may have overcooked the semia or the coconut may not be as dry as you would have wanted it to, then it will get into something soggy. So ensure that you mix it very slowly and superficially, but ensure that the entire mixture is together. Here too, you can take a call. Do you want more of the semolina or do you want more of the coconut? You would see here that I have heard in favor of more semolina than coconut. Make the converse choice and it will still taste very delicious. So the semolina coconut rice or the semolina coconut dish is ready. Thank you. We'll come back. Another variation that I'm going to do with semia, semolina, is a lime-based dish. This is also easy. As I said, I have uh, <clears throat> pre-boiled water-stained semolina, to which I will, the ingredients that I will be using are the usual tadka items, that is jeera, rai, chana dal, udad dal, with which I will also be using some broken chickpea or putnal papu as it's called. I'm using turmeric, I'm using lime, I'm using a little bit of mustard powder and one or two red chilies and hink. So what I'm doing is now, like the stove, and after the oil is a little heated, Use some chana dal, some udad dal. Again, a liberal helping of jeera because jeera adds taste and becomes an important spice when the food dish is not very spicy and if you're not using too many masalas. A few curry leaves. three or four chilies again depending on how spicy you want it Tea. some turmeric powder and cashew nuts
mix it. Let the cashews slightly change their color. You could use uh, cashew nuts or ground nuts or any of the pulses that are soaked like kabuli chana, chana. You can use any of them. You can use green peas. Fresh or soaked and boiled. I'm adding one red chili. Now about half a bowl of semolina, same here. As I said, this is pre-roasted, boiled and drained. With this mixture, After I saute it completely, I will add salt. Just to give you a tang, I'm adding some mustard powder, crushed mustard powder. And putna lupodia or broken roasted chickpea mix them again and ensure that they don't stick ensure it's as dry as it can be and you will know why in a while. With this mix, now I've taken about two to three medium sized lime juice. Now you see that uh, the liquid has softened the product. That is why I wanted it a little dry so that it doesn't get too wet at the end when you add lime to it. So we have yet another variation with most things that are normally available at home. This has various combinations and permutations you can make. You can use, as I said, groundnut in place of cashew nut. You can use instead of broken roasted chickpea, you can use roasted powder or groundnut you can use a bit of sesame powder or till powder also would enhance the taste so that's the second variation with semolina or semia that i have for you today see you in a while One of the most favorite dishes with the South Indian family is curd rice. Uh, both the Tamil families, the Telugu families, even the Kannada and the Malayali families can't complete a meal without curd rice. If I'm doing something with curds, with semia instead of rice, what I'm doing is I will come to the semia part later. First, heat oil and for the tarka, Use jeera. Some mustard. A little bit of grated ginger. A few pieces of cut green chilies.
Cutting leaves. And heat. Take the same yarn, which is about half this bow, loosen it, add one of salt. And when you're uh, getting the strands of the semolina or the semia separate, ensure that you it is as dry and independent and not very soft and mixed into a paste form. Now add milk. I've taken a milk, one glass of milk and a small bowl of curds. Mix it well. Into this mixture, now add the tadka that you have prepared. The curd semolina is ready. Catch you up at the presentation.